So I'm going to start with a slip knot and I do have a video that shows how to do a slip knot and um, then I'm going to just show you a sample of this. So I'm going to chain 22. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I've got a video on chaining also. So now I'm going to double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. So there's number one, two, three, and four. So I go in here and the skip chain is going to count as a double. So I'm going to go in there and then do one more and then when I'm doing my fourth double crochet I'm going to yarn over draw through two loops on hook it's like I'm doing half of the double crochet now since I want to alternate block colors before I'm going to finish the last double crochet with the new color so I am going to pick up my white right here and I'm going to make a slip knot with the white and I am going to put that one on my hook, the white. I'm going to finish the last double crochet with the new color. So all I got to do, instead of pulling the blue, I'm going to pull the white through. Now I've got four double crochets in blue. I'm going to yarn over and do the next four double crochets with the new color. So this either gets dropped to the wrong side, which I tend to do, or you work over this color. So I'm going to show you how to do both, but right now I will work over the color. Now this, you can see it makes a mess on the back when you carry the color. And I tend to carry the color only because a lot of times these are samples for photography and the carried color when you work, I mean when, yeah, when you work over the color, sometimes it shows through to the right side. So it's just easier for us to do this, but this is what it's going to look like. These are all the carried colors in the back. So it's just whatever you prefer. So now this is the end of that new color. I don't want to deal with that, so I'm going to push that to the back over here. Then I'm going to work over this, so I'm just going to lay it on top of the starting chain, and I'm going to go into my next chain with a new color, working over that color, and I'm going to work my double crochets. So I'm working over that and into the chain, so it becomes encapsulated inside of the double crochet. So there is. Now I'm on my fourth one, so my fourth one I only do halfway, like this. See that? Now I'm going to pull this blue strand snug a little bit because I don't want it to be sloppy in there. I want it to be kind of taut. But I don't want it to be too tight or else it'll just start gathering up your work. So now on my last double crochet of the four double crochet group, I'm going to drop this color, pick up the carried color, yarn over with that, and bring that through the two loops on my hook to finish that last double crochet. Now I'm going to yarn over. Now see how I'm carrying white? So I'm going to crochet over the white this time and into the foundation chain like this. Okay, now I'm on my fourth double crochet, so I'm only going to do it halfway. I'm going to work it to the last two loops around my hook. I'm going to pull this taut. See if I pull, it's pulling this stitch down a little bit. So I don't want to pull too tight. I'm going to drop this to the wrong side. I'm going to yarn over with the, the carried color, 
finish the blue stitch with the white and then now I'm back to working over blue. So I'm going to go through here with the new color white. And I'm working over the carried color. Okay, now I'm on my last double crochet. I'm going to pull this a little bit and I'm going to drop this to the wrong side. I'm going to pick up the carried color there. I'm going to finish the last double crochet with the new color. I'm going to yarn over. I'm working over this stitch. Actually, I know that I'm not going to need that white, so I'm not going to carry the white right now. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and do my four blues because this is the end of the row. Okay, see that? Isn't that cute? So cute. Okay, so then I'm going to chain three and turn. And then, okay, so what's going to happen is this is going to start getting all twisted and everything. And all you have to do, um, I made it look worse than it really is. But anyway, all you have to do is just um, take your yarn balls and then just straighten them out. So, like that. Okay, and this is kind of wanting to tangle up over here. Okay, so... Anyway, at the end, I didn't work over the white down here, and you'll see why. I'm going to chain three turn. I'm not going to work in this first double because the chain three counts as that double crochet. So I'm going to double on the next two. Then I'm going to do the double up into the last two loops, and I'm working the same color over the same color. So now this. I want to keep all of my little switching around colors on the wrong side. This is the wrong side where I started working right here is the right side. So any little maneuvers will be done back here. So I've got my last two loops on my hook. I'm going to hold this here. I'm going to pick up the white. See the white is going to is right here where I need to pick it up. It would have been pointless to carry it over here and then bring it back. So I'm going to pick up that dropped white, bring it, finish the last double crochet of my blue group with the white like this. Then I'm going to lay the blue over the double crochets. Trust me that once you get the hang of this, it goes quicker than you'd ever imagine. So, okay, so I'm going to work into the white stitches with white and I'm going to be carrying the I'm going to be working over the blue. So I'm working over this and into the first double crochet there. And then I do the same thing. I'm not really concerned about where that blue is landing up just as long as it's where it needs to be there. Oh my gosh, this skinny yarn does not want to cooperate. It's not good. Okay. Now, um, stay with me. <laughs> okay, now I'm working the last white double crochet of this group. So what I want to do is I'm still working over the blue. I'm going to work it to the last two loops around the hook. This blue now is underneath those double crochet stitches. So I want to, I'm going to get this up close, a lot of focus. I want to pull that. It's really loose inside there, but I don't want to pull it too tight. But right there, it's it's kind of taut in there. And then I'm going to hold this white like this, and I'm on the wrong side, and I'm going to pick up the carried blue color and finish that last double crochet with the blue. Now I'm going to carry white, and I'm going to work over the white, and into the blue with blue like this same thing as I just did I'm 
Okay. Okay, so now I'm on my last um, double crochet of that group. I'm going to hold this back here and I am going to pull this a little bit and I'm going to yarn over and finish that last double crochet with that. I'm going to hold the blue over the white and I'm going to work my double crochet stitches with the new color over the blue. Okay, now I'm going to pull the blue and I'm going to hold the white back here. I'm going to pick up the blue, bring that through the last two loops of that hook to finish off that double. This time I am going to need that white up here because I'm going to change um, my blue block and this side is going to become white. So I'm going to need the white. So I'm going to work over that white and finish off my last blue block here. Okay, now, now here's a neat little trick here. Okay, I'm working over my white. Now, at the very end, I want to go from blue block to white block. So on the last double crochet stitch, I need to change to white so that I can change my color block above that. All right. This yarn's not cooperating. Okay. Okay, I think I I think I can make it with that. Okay, so I'm down to the end. I'm at the last double crochet. I have carried the white, so I'm going to pull it just a little bit, make sure it's okay without pulling that stitch too much. Okay, now I got to finish my last double crochet with white. So I'm going to yarn over with white. Let me see. The white was carried and it's coming out right here. So I'm just going to yarn over right here like that. And then I'm going to chain three turn with the new color, which is the white. Okay? Now this was the wrong side, so I had the strands, um, any color changes and stuff be done on this side. Now we're going to flip it over like the page of a book to the right side. So see right there? You can see like the carried colors in there. And a lot of crocheters, when they do this color changing stuff, they want to make sure that their tension is a little bit more, uh, a little bit tighter than usual, so that this this is less noticeable. So I'm going to continue on with white, and now we've got the alternating block starting here. Oop! Wait a minute. Okay. So this is the blue coming out. But I'm on the right side of my work. This was the first row I worked, and you can mark this as the right side. So I'm on the right side of my work, so I want any kind of shifting of lines and stuff to be done on this side. So that is the blue strand that came out. So I need to work over that, so I'm going to like pull it to the back like this, and then just kind of hold it over over those double crochet stitches so that I can work over it like this. So just work over it because I'm going to need it. So when I do my last double crochet, I'm going to do it till two loops are on my hook. I'm going to pull the blue just a little bit. It really doesn't need pulling there. And then I'm going to drop that to the wrong side. I'm going to yarn over with the alternate color. I'm going to finish that block with the new color. I'm going to yarn over. Now I'm carrying white over white and I'm working blue double crochets into the white. And that's how you get it to alternate the squares. Okay. So now the last double crochet of this block, I want it to be, I want to change it. So I'm going to drop the blue back here. I'm going to pick yarn over with the new color white. 
and then I'm going to work over the strand and into the next four double crochets of blue. This is basically also how the um, afghans are done or the projects are done with color changes. You just keep uh, to create pictures that sometimes they call them picture afghans. We've got a lot of them at maggiescrochet.com. And a lot of times they're done in um, single crochet stitches. So, um, but the changing colors and stuff is basically the same. So now I'm on my last double crochet of this block. I'm going to work it till I have two loops on my hook. And then I'm going to pull this a little bit. I'm going to drop white, change to blue. And then I'm going to do this. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I, if you chose to not work over this and to carry it across the back, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now I would just ignore that this is back here and I wouldn't work over it. I would just let it hang back there. And I would work my next block. Now when I get to the last stitch, oh this yarn is delightful. I heard this bit of wisdom the other day and I love it. It's not the events that happen, it's what we tell ourselves about the event that matters more. So anyway, I'm not going to tell myself that that's frustrating. Oh, okay. So I'm down to my last double crochet of that block. I'm going to yarn over, draw through two, and I'm going to finish with the next color, but I care, I left it hanging back there. So all I'm going to do is bring it over and just let it, let it hang back there like that and I'm going to yarn over with that color but see it just made the strand in the back and then I'm going to go ahead with the new color and that I carried that on the wrong side because remember I said I want any kind of like color changing and stuff to mainly be in the back. So I made sure that that was in the back side. So um, then you chain three turn with the white and you so here you would pick up oh my gosh they're both doing it. Okay I think I'm home free now. There Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so um, I'm on my white block. I'm going to work my last double crochet to two loops on my hook. I'm going to hold this back. I'm going to change to blue. And then I'm going to work, finish the blue block with the blue. Okay, now I'm on the last double crochet. And there's two loops left on my hook. And again, I'm just going to bring up, now I'm on the wrong side, so it's okay for it to be in the front. And I'm going to bring the yarn up to where I need it, right here. And I'm going to lay it right there. I'm going to yarn over with that and bring it through the two loops on the hook. So that's how you would just um, carry it instead of working over it. So then I'm going to do my finish my white block. And then I'll show you how to carry the blue. Okay, so two loops on my hook. I hold this down, bring this up like this, and yarn over and draw through two, and then continue on with my blue color. And one more tangle. Okay, yes. Okay, so then I'm continuing on with my blue. So it's just whatever preference you want, uh, whichever way you want to do it. But I've shown you both ways. Okay, so that's what it'll look like on the wrong side when you carry um, the colors instead of working over them. So it's all whatever you um, prefer to do. And then you would just um, sew your ends in. But 
it's a beautiful um, stitch to learn how to do. So that's how you do the check pattern. And there are um, four repeating rows. And there will be two rows with the um, blue blocks on the outside. And then there will be two rows with the white blocks on the side. And that makes up the pattern for the stitch. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps you to uh, master the art of crochet. And I want to thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And the hook that I'm using is the Tulip Edamo hook, which I absolutely love. And these are available at maggiescrochet.com. And I have the whole set of them here. Um, I just love them and they come with little scissors and needles and everything so it's just a real treat to have a set of hooks like this especially after all the years that I've been crocheting and designing so and I like to have um, different types of hooks because um, for certain projects um, I've actually found some projects where I had to use the specific yarn and it drove me crazy because it snagged like crazy all I had to do was change the brand of hook and it was like so easy after that so you want to have different uh, hooks for different projects but anyway um, that's the check dishcloth and the link will be below the video and I'm gonna thank you so much for watching